We've got some truly exciting news to share with you all. Starting tomorrow, Social Security, SSI, and SSDI payments are set to receive a significant boost. Sander, our trusted financial guru, just spilled the beans and get this, it's a whopping $4,700 increase per month. Now, let's break down why this news is such a big deal. For many folks out there, these payments are a lifeline, helping cover everything from rent and groceries to medical bills and other essentials. But let's face it, living on a fixed income can be tough, especially when prices keep going up. That's where this raise comes in. Picture this, nearly $5,000 extra in your pocket every month. It's like having a financial superhero swoop in and save the day. With this extra cash, suddenly things like paying bills on time, buying healthy food, and maybe even treating yourself once in a while become a whole lot easier. But it's not just about the money. This raise is a game changer for so many people who've been struggling to make ends meet. It's a sign that someone out there is listening and taking action to help those who need it most. Good morning slash afternoon slash evening everyone. I have some truly incredible news to share regarding social security and disability benefits that is going to put more money in the pockets of millions of Americans starting immediately. After years of modest cost of living adjustments that failed to keep up with actual inflation, the Social Security Administration has announced a monumental increase of $470 per month for all beneficiaries receiving Social Security Retirement, SSI Disability or SSDI payments. That equates to an extra $5,640 per year. This raise didn't come out of nowhere though. Months of intense negotiations between lawmakers, policy experts, and advocacy groups culminated in the passage of new legislation called the Social Security Fairness Act of 2023. The Fairness Act was specifically designed to boost benefit amounts to better reflect the true cost of living that seniors in the disabled community face. The $470 monthly increase is permanent and will be included in the baseline benefit amount going forward. It will be tied to a new index designed to more accurately track real-world inflationary expenses like housing, medical care, utilities, and more. In addition to the $470 base increase, the annual cost of living adjustment, QLA process, will continue each year based on this new, more realistic inflationary measure. To pay for these higher benefits, the legislation increases the Social Security tax rate by 1% for both employers and employees, with self-employed individuals paying the full 2% increase. The bill also includes provisions to shore up the long-term solvency of the Social Security and Disability Trust funds for at least the next 30 years. It's important to note that while this benefit increase only applies to Social Security Retirement, SSI, and SSDI at this time, advocacy groups are already pushing to expand the $470, raised to other federal benefit programs like veterans' disability compensation and pensions as well. So what will this extra $470 per month, or $5,640 per year, mean for the nearly 63 million Americans receiving Social Security benefits? Based on the latest numbers, the average monthly benefit amount for Social Security retirement will rise from $1,544 to $2,014. For those receiving SSI for the aged, the average monthly payment will jump from $624 to $1,094. SSI payments for the disabled will increase from $698 per month on average to $1,168. And for SSDI, the typical monthly benefit goes up from $1,291 to $1,761. For many seniors living on a fixed income, this increase could be absolutely life-changing. The senior poverty rate, which had been over 13% based on the supplemental poverty measure, is projected to plummet to around 7%, with this extra income plugging the gaps. Older Americans struggling to cover basic needs like housing, food, transportation, and health care may finally get some breathing room. Millions of disabled Americans stuck below the poverty line will also get a major financial boost that advocates say is long overdue. For those relying on both SSI and SSDI payments due to severe long-term disabilities, their total monthly benefits could increase by nearly $1,000 in some cases. This will allow many to afford critical assistance services, medical expenses, and accessibility accommodations that have been out of reach. The disabled community has faced disproportionately high poverty and economic hardship, so this raise can dramatically improve quality of life. While the dollar figures are significant, the human impact may be even greater. 
For elderly widows barely scraping by on a small Social Security survivor's benefit, the extra money means fewer impossible choices between food, medicine, and utility bills. Younger adults born with disabilities can hopefully gain more independence and self-sufficiency. And aging Americans who worked hard their whole lives can retire with more financial security. The timing of this benefit increase also couldn't be better, as stubbornly high inflation continues straining household budgets across the country. Prices for groceries, gas, rent, and other essentials have been rising much faster than the annual Social Security cost of living adjustments, rapidly eroding the buying power of fixed income payments. The Social Security Fairness Act aims to correct that by tying future COLAs to a more comprehensive inflationary index. Not everyone is celebrating the new legislation, though. Critics, primarily Republicans, have blasted the Social Security tax increases as an unnecessary burden on workers and job creators during uncertain economic times. There are also concerns that the rosy 30-year solvency projections are overly optimistic if inflation remains elevated. From a budgeting perspective, the nearly $200 billion per year price tag for the expanded benefits is no small expense. To fund it long-term, the Fairness Act allows for a modest, gradual increase to the Social Security taxable earnings cap over the next decade. Currently, the 6.2% Social Security payroll tax only applies to the first $147,000 of an individual's annual income. However, supporters of the bill counter that protecting and strengthening vital income protections for America's seniors and most vulnerable citizens is well worth the cost. They point to numerous economic studies showing that every $1 paid out in Social Security and disability benefits generates up to $1.50 in positive economic impact as those funds are spent in local communities. As news of the $470 monthly increase spreads, financial services firms are already getting calls from clients looking to adjust their retirement planning and break the glass on rainy day funds. Credit counselors advise using at least the first few months' worth of back pay to eliminate any high-interest debt like credit cards and catch up on past-due rent or mortgage payments first. For those simply looking to upgrade their quality of life, the additional income opens up a world of possibilities. Seniors can look into affordable luxuries like home-delivered meal services, transportation subscriptions, or travel. The disabled community may invest in new mobility equipment or modified vehicles and multi-generational households can collectively breathe a sigh of relief. The Social Security Administration does caution that beneficiaries may not see the full $470 increase hit their bank accounts or mailboxes until July or August due to the time needed to update payment systems and distribute retroactive payback to the new start date. But the money is indeed coming. Overall, while partisan debates may continue over how best to fund and update America's core social safety net programs, there is little doubt this dramatic income boost will positively impact millions from all walks of life. As the comedian Chris Rock once joked, if you haven't contemplated murder for a social security check, you ain't been around long enough. As word of the $470 monthly increase spreads, reaction has been pouring in from advocacy organizations, policy experts, elected officials, and everyday beneficiaries. The response has been overwhelmingly positive though not without some criticism and cautionary voices. AORP, one of the largest and most influential groups representing Americans over 50, enthusiastically endorsed the new Social Security Fairness Act. This is a monumental victory for millions of seniors and retirees struggling on low fixed incomes that haven't kept up with the true cost of living, said AARP CEO Joanne Jenkins. Access to affordable health care, prescription drugs, utilities, and other basic needs has become increasingly difficult in recent years. This much-needed boost will provide critical financial breathing room for older Americans. Disability advocacy organizations like the National Council on Independent Living, NCIL, and the ARC have also vocally championed the benefit increases. NCIL Chairman Billy Altum stated, This landmark legislation will lift countless disabled individuals and their families out of poverty and restore their independence. The compounding costs of specialized care home modifications, assisted technology, and more have made living with a disability unbearably expensive. We celebrate this hard-fought achievement while renewing our commitment to fight for further progress. On Capitol Hill, reactions have been more divided along partisan lines, reflecting the heated political battles surrounding Social Security's future solvency. Democratic supporters have touted the bill as a long-overdue corrective to decades of stagnating benefits that failed to keep up with costs. 
They argued that shoring up this vital safety net program provides overarching economic stimulus as those funds cycle through communities. Growing up, I watched my grandmother survive solely on her monthly social security checks after a lifetime of hard work, said Senator Cory Booker, DNG, one of the bill's co-sponsors. With this legislation, we're finally making good on the promise of a dignified retirement for our seniors while ensuring the disabled community has the resources they desperately need and deserve. This is moral and economic policy at its finest. However, Republicans have pushed back hard against both the benefit increases and associated payroll tax hikes. They contend that the added $200 billion per year price tag fans the inflationary flames at a precarious economic moment. There are also concerns about long-term solvency despite rosy projections. We're essentially robbing future generations and our economy's productive capacity to pay for the largest ever expansion of our already overextended entitlement system, argued Rep. Jason Smith, RMO, chair of the House Budget Committee. We should pursue bipartisan reforms like increasing retirement ages and implementing more progressive benefit formulas. But this is just another unsustainable budget-busting bailout that will weigh on economic growth. Among average beneficiaries, the reactions have been joyous and immensely grateful. Ron Walters, a 72-year-old retiree living in Detroit on less than $1,300 a month from Social Security, described getting the news of his new nearly $2,000 monthly payment as an answered prayer and new lease on life. I've been pinching every penny for years, barely keeping the lights on and putting off medical care because I just couldn't afford it, said Walters, who worked in manufacturing for over 40 years. Now I can actually pay for my medication, grab a coffee with friends once in a while, and fix up my house a bit. I never thought I'd see a raise like this after paying into Social Security my whole career. That's it for today's video. If you found this information useful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest financial news.